Hello, welcome to the second part of the suggested solution for the uh, event part of this uh, rules mastery coding uh, thingy. Uh, in the last episode, we created a well, we declared a rules event. I now added uh, comments to this uh, new function as well, which you should of course of course always do. And we have two variables that are being provided by this uh, event the unchanged list and the updated list. Now we're going to invoke this and make it actually happen. So when I hit save here, something actually happens. Let, let's um, actually do some things here. If I go to rules here and add a new reaction rule, I now have the, let's call this temporary, I now have this uh, event available here. Rules coding list of word, words is being saved. Save. And I can, for example, now add an action and just the bug value. I can here get the un unsaved list and the updated list. So let's uh, let's um, output these: uh, the unchanged list and the updated list. Ba -ba -bam, updated list. There we are. Now the problem is, of course, that even when I hit save here nothing happens. I don't get any debug values and no rule is actually being fired <coughs> because we do never we don't invoke this event. But that's what we're gonna do now. Uh, and to do that I have to go back into the uh, dot module file and somewhere in this module file I can add the uh, well I can add a, a function to invoke this event and I want to do this inside the function let's see uh, rules coding save list here it is this is the function that saves the list uh, to to the database the variables table and uh, here it happens it saves and just before that I want to invoke the event that uh, um, uh, to, to make rules react uh, to enable rules to enact on things so uh, invoke uh, the event uh, what's it called this uh, and it's uh, done like this they could be done two different ways this is the simplest way rules invoke event and then you add the name of the event as a parameter and you then add uh, all the parameters the variables that should be sent uh, along with the event here. So first the unchanged list, which we still can get because this hasn't been uh, uh, saved yet, so we can use uh, rules coding get words. This gets us the, the old list from, from the variables table and then the new list is found in this words here, so you can just do like that. And there it is! Invoking event, this event with these parameters. Let's see if this works. Save. And we get two debug messages here. And if I add delta, you can see the second one got a, uh, four elements now. It has delta, while the unsaved one still only has three. And right, and that's it basically. Uh, sometimes though, you don't know how many of these. Um, uh, arguments you, you got and in those cases you can add, use another function called rules invoke event by args and then you just add the uh, event name and then you have an array with all these um, parameters all these variables uh, as uh, values in this array and that's it uh, let's remove trailing spaces, like so. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, there are more things you can learn about rules, for example, how to invoke uh, uh, components, these uh, uh, rules components that we have. The, these can be uh, fetched and then invoked programmatically, which is uh, powerful sometimes. Uh, we will not be doing that in this course unless you really want to, then we, we can do it live. Uh, because I think this is the last screencast for now. Uh, I'm going to add some notes on where you can find more about coding for rules, because this is the basics. 
we don't have time to do much more. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you around. <laughs>